Hey guys, it's your girl G back with another video. How's everybody doing this Saturday? It is such a wonderful day. I love it. I went out this morning and handled some business and it's nice and breezy and cool. I told y'all fall was my favorite season and I'm loving it. <laughs> well, today you all are going to join me for lunch. And today I have a filet of chicken that I fixed myself and french fries. Something simple. You know, um, when I was out, I thought about it. I said, should I go by this particular place and get a, a chicken sandwich? And I said, no, I am going to fix my own chicken sandwich. And y'all look at it. Ooh, look at it. I don't put anything else on mine. I just like the chicken and I butter the bread. Sometime I might put some lettuce and tomato, but today I didn't. Okay. Um, so let's give thanks and we're going to eat. Father, I want to thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. Thank you for blessing me to see another day. And I pray that you continue to bless me and all my viewers today. Bless them going in and coming out. Thank you for everything. Amen. And amen. Yes, yes. Did you guys take time out for lunch today? Because I know most people, Saturday is a busy day for them. But I don't do um a whole lot of things. And normally, I don't cook. I just warm up something that I already had because I'm honoring the Sabbath. And I'm not a seven-day Adventist. I just, the Word of God said, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. So Saturday used to be a busy day for me. I was always working, cleaning the house, doing hospital visits and different things like that so it has changed for me now it's a day of rest it's a day of enjoying the day um it's a day of worship and praise and so when i woke up this morning i said oh man it's so nice outside i'm going out and I did go by the store because my brother's birthday is coming up on the 5th and he wants me to cook a dinner for him and make him oh uh, he loved my um cream cheese pound cake so i said um let me go today and get the things that i need so i won't have to worry about it Got my water. Have to drink more water. And so then I was riding around and I was just looking at some houses in the area. Because I like my area that I live in. And I saw a couple of houses for sale. So I'm just waiting for my blessing, my financial blessings, so I can purchase. A house so just enjoying the weather uh -huh. riding around and so I came back in and I said well let me do a video because I haven't eaten anything so I'll go ahead and eat and I just you know wanted something simple that I could cook up quick and um this is what I have. So let's see what this chicken tastes like. Ooh, it's a lot. This is a big, this is a breast. This is actually half of a breast. And I cut it open. I mean, and I, I butterflied it. Mm -hmm. Cause I can't eat a whole breast. That's too much meat. So I always split my breast in two. And even when I, um, you, cause 
I use my breast meat when I make my casseroles and different things like that. I still, because I'm cooking for one person, all of my recipes that I have always fix half of what I do. And so when I cut up the chicken or dice it up to put in my casserole, I still use half a breast. And it'd be plenty of meat. I love my fried. I don't like crispy fries. I like them soft like this. They're so good like this. Mm. Um, yesterday, I had a taste for some Chinese food, but I don't know. I'm kind of queasy now when it comes to that Chinese food. I want it, but I'm not sure about it. So I never got that. Usually, when I have a craving for something, I have to have it because I'm not going to be satisfied until I get it. So when I was out today, we have one, have two in my area. Is one right across from my complex, but I've been staying here six years. I haven't went to that place yet. <laughs> I am a creature of habit. I like to buy from places that I know that I go to all the time. And I know how the food gonna taste. And so the place that I really liked was downtown. And they moved up here. And so my brother was telling me it was the same, you know, the same people. They just moved. And I said, well, do they still cook it? Like, we like to eat it because I don't know in your neighborhood or wherever you're from. In our neighborhood, they cook Chinese food different from as we go uptown and they cook it because they cater into black downtown, cater into whites uptown. So when you come downtown, what we call the hood here, you're going to get brown fried rice, okay? You're not going to have them peas and the bok choy and the cabbage in it. Like if you go uptown, you're going to get that yellow fried rice with the peas and the carrots and the bok choy. You got to come downtown and your yacht, even the yacht downtown is different than the yacht uptown. So, um, yeah, so I like my downtown Chinese food and um, I think that the egg food young I'm trying to say that I ever I don't, I don't think it was a big difference in the egg food young. They they all cooked the egg food young the same. So it wasn't a difference in the egg food young because I go through my periods and I will only eat certain things in that time frame. Like I might go and all I'm going to get is yak. And I'll do that for years. That's all I'll get. I get chicken yak because I don't do pork. And then I have a taste for the egg foo young. And I'll go for a couple of years. That's all I'm getting is egg foo young. Getting chicken egg foo young. Um, then I might want my chicken fried rice. And I'll eat that when I go there. I remember when they first came downtown, um, this family and um, of Asian people, they... Um, they knew who I was when I called on the phone because I said, I want my chicken fried rice, no onions, 
and a little gravy because I might like a little, little bit of onions, but they cut them onions up big. I don't want my onions where I can see them and up. So I always get it with no onions and I get it um with a little gravy. And so when I say that, they know who it is. When I come through the door and it could be full of people because, you know, you could call your order in so you don't have to wait. And I come through the door and then they'll look at me and hold my bag up like, okay, you can come on. <laughs> I say, because they know what I want. I get the same. I just get the same thing. When I get my yacht, I said, no onion. Because at least with the fried rice, they will cook your onions. But when you get yacht, they put the um. The fresh onion, they don't cook the onion, you know. I definitely, mm -mm. I am not an onion person. Mm -mm. This is good, y'all. I'm hungry. Mm. I pray that y'all. Day is going well. Even if you're going through something today, set your mind on good thoughts. Think happy thoughts, you know. Don't dwell on the negative. You got to think positive. You have to look at things that's happening in your life and how it can change you for the better, how you can do things better, how you can avoid, you know, certain things. And you just always got to look at in a positive way about things and situations. I know it's hard, but you will find that you can deal with it better. This day is, you know, such a blessed day to be moping and and carrying on, you know. Uh, right now, I have two family members going through COVID. One is doing much, much better. The other one is um, in the hospital on oxygen and you know, I just, you know, I pray for them daily. And know God going to strengthen them, you know. I have to look at the positive. Because if you don't look at the positive, you'll be in that negative mode, thinking negative. Believe them, believing negative. And you got to have the faith and the positive of everything, you know, regardless of what's going on around you. You just got to say, thank you, God. I'm here. I made it through. Now do the same thing for my family member, for my friend, you know, and believe that he will. And I believe it with all my heart and my soul that both of them are going to make it through and be the better for it, knowing that God held their hand and delivered them, you know, from sickness, from COVID. And so today, just think positive thoughts, you know. Um, you know, even if just the fact that you're here and you thank God for that, the fact that you got food to eat, the fact that you got a roof over your head, and regardless of what, you know, whatever's going on, because you also have to look at the fact that there's other people that's, you know, doing far worse than you are. And, you know, so it's always something to give him thanks for. Because the Bible said that we are not promised that it's always going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Trials and tribulations are going to come. And it's all in how we deal with them. So I just want to tell you to think positive today. Speak positive. And just, you know, think on others and pray for them along with yourself. 
and your day will go smooth. You'll get through them problems because sometimes it seems like I, I went through a situation one time and I was like, God, why? You know, because I believe it's a lesson in everything. And I said, what I'm going to learn from this? Because this is just let this be over with. And no matter how much I prayed, I still had to deal with it day by day by day. And I was just, uh, I was just in a state of devastation. And then I had to stop and I had to say, well, I'm going through this, but I'm here. And I'm looking at things around me, how I'm just so blessed. I'm looking at the people in my life that was there to pray with me and hold my hand. And I just thought on that. And I said to myself, this too shall pass. Like, because the problem's going to come. And I just want, you know, everybody want them to be done with and fixed with just like that. And all the time, it ain't going to happen. It will sometimes, but it's not going to happen all the time. And this was something I dealt with. As as Look, as Paul said in the Bible, it was he had a thorn in his flesh. And this was like a thorn in my flesh. And I couldn't pull it out because I'm like, first of all, why do I have to go through this? Why is this happening? You know, and I'm just like, ugh. But I dealt with it. And I'm here because I'm going to tell you, when I was going through it, I didn't know how long myself that I was going to last because I was just like, I was just so, it took me into a state of depression because I was like, why do I have to deal with this trial? And so after it was over with and I had to think, okay, God, what is it that I'm supposed to learn from that? You know what I'm saying? What is it? that I'm supposed to learn from that. Why did I have to go through that? And it took me a long time, a long time to understand why. And I'm the better for it. You might not understand at that moment, but later on you'll say, wow, I know why I went through that. I had to go through that. And so make today a positive day. A positive day of thinking, a positive day of speaking positivity into not only your life, but other people. Because it's still a beautiful day. It is the day the Lord has made. And we are to rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank you for watching my video today. If you have not subscribed, please press that subscribe button please <laughs> and like this video and share it if you want to encourage other people help my channel out to watch my video it's your girl Jean thank you I love you so much for being a part of my life and sharing these things with me that I have to say listening to it and um, I hope you will comment I hear something from you and I'll get back to you and so have a blessed, 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 blessed evening and a good night. Bye-bye.